Hi there, Chris from Total EV, and here we're doing a dedicated audio review of the Nissan Leaf. We've got the Tecna model over here, which has the Bose premium system inside. Now, if you'd like a detailed review of the car itself in order to you to get an idea of how the car performs, be it in terms of performance or in terms of its uh, electric range, do check out our detailed review. It'll be down in the description below or indeed on your pop-up banner. Also down in the description, you'll find a link to our Instagram, and yes, that's a shameless plug, but if you do use that social media platform, we'd very much appreciate a follow. It's at Total EV net. So let's start and talk about the audio configuration. And here you've got the seven speaker Bose system. Now, if you were to go for the cheaper trims that are available with the Nissan Leaf, you'll find a six speaker system instead, which seems to exclude a subwoofer. Now the Bose system has tweeters at the front and mid range drivers on the doors, and you've got them at the rear doors as well. And you've got a base box, which seems to have pretty much come from the old school Nissan Leaf. In other words, the 2013 variant or uh, before that that which had that sort of base block design and it seems like the speakers have also come across from uh, the old Nissan Leaf although I could be mistaken but just from my knowledge and research that's that seems to indicate that's the case nevertheless the the speakers themselves integrate with the infotainment display and you can adjust the bass and treble only it's a shame that you can't adjust the subwoofer and the fact that the treble also adjusts the mid-range and the highs in one segment the same could go with the bass with the subwoofer it would have been Nice to see separate options available. Nevertheless, I have reduced the bass by two notches and increased the treble by two notches, and we'll touch upon why. Now, for you to hear a little bit of how the audio system performs, I'm gonna place the camera in four separate places throughout the cabin and with my microphone. Now, while this isn't ideal and won't give you an accurate representation of how the system performs, it just gives you a little bit of a taster. The song we'll be using is from Priya J. The song is called Falling. If you're interested in purchasing it or indeed listening to her song, do check it down in the description below. Young is so high, then learn how to fly. It's the only way I know how to play this game to success. I'm not quite sussed it yet. When I reach the brink, don't stop to think. I always sink, and now I'm thinking of crawling, 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 crawling. My way back to falling. Now with the audio demo out of the way, let's get on to my subjective analysis. First off, let's talk about that sub bass. Now while it does have a bass box, the subwoofer unit driver is relatively small in comparison to ones you can find in some of its rivals. As a result, it came as no surprise that the sub bass extension is a little bit lackluster. It doesn't give you that low end rumble that you might crave. It's still competent for in comparison to systems that don't have a subwoofer unit altogether, but it just doesn't really stand out in comparison to other other systems out there. As for the mid bass, however, it's tight and controlled and punchy. It's exactly what you'd want. And in fact, in my case, reducing the bass by two notches meant it gave the sound system a little bit of a better all round performance. Speaking of which, the mids are pretty recessed and pushed back, which is somewhat surprising given Bose's pedigree, specifically in their consumer products. They're kind of known for their mid range and how they're kind of at the foreground um, in comparison to how this system performs in the Nissan Leaf, which sounds that the mids and therefore, like let's say the vocals are really at the background of your songs. It just feels really pushed back. And it's a shame because there is no mid range adjustment. Yes, there is the treble adjustment, but that will also tinker with the highs and you won't want to do that too much or else the highs will become a little bit sibilant and harsh at the top end. Speaking of which, the highs do extend relatively well, while they could do with a little bit more clarity at the top end, specifically at the back seat where there is no tweeter, it would have just been nice to see again that adjustment of highs being separate from mids, and therefore allowing you to have that high end extension without sounding too sibilant or harsh if you really want the most of the system's uh, mid-range response. Hopefully that, that makes sense. If you've got any questions of what I'm trying to say over here, ask me down in the comments section below. Elsewhere, you've then got the sound stage and here the sound stage is very much good it's it's perfectly fine you've got a decent width and depth although I would have liked to see a little bit more namely at the back instrument separation really does take a hit given the fact that you've only got those two drivers one on either side and what you'll find is that the frequencies felt a little bit more jumbled so instrument separation isn't its forte and width and depth 
could have been a little bit wider. Ultimately, if there were more speakers dotted around the cabin or potentially a newer system that was used, it might have led to a slightly better experience. On the whole, what I will say is that Nissan Leaf's Bose seven speaker system doesn't really impress, but neither is it something that's disappointing. You've got a competent sound system that will be perfectly fine for your daily commute, but for audio files, you might want to look for a little bit more of a premium system. And unfortunately, there's no way of upgrading the Nissan Leaf's audio system past the Bose one that you get as the option in some of the trim levels. But that's just my opinions and thoughts about it. Let me know in the comments below what you make of the audio system that's comprised within the Nissan Leaf. I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts and do share your EQ settings potentially for others out there for them to, to read them or indeed for them to, to kind of know what you are kind of using. And of course, do share what music you listen to or let's say, for example, if you listen to podcasts only, I'd be intrigued to see if you just dial up the treble and reduce the bass altogether. Anyway, I've been Chris from Totally EV. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to see more and of course, favor and share as it always help the channel grow and it's very much appreciated. All right, take care and bye-bye.